So, hello everyone, Billing here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and today's of which is on my first Star Wars Clone Wars set, the Armored Assault Tank AAT. And starting out with the box here, you see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and that interesting border, but instead of minifigure Darth Vader, it's minifigure 33 Second Trooper, of course. There's and also Disney logo and picture of the set in interesting position, all the mini things included, and age recommendation is 7 and up. Set number 75283 has 286 pieces. On the back, you see a picture of it in a, of the set in a resting position, and a couple of features of it, and also play it in the Skywalker Saga game. And on to the book clip. Oh, it's same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with the set. After some other sets. And then after the Skywalker Saga game. And the last building set. First of all, have from left to right, have Ahsoka Tano, the 332nd Trooper, and two uh, battle droids, or special battle droids, but one of which is called the AAT Driver Battle Droid on the box cover. Well, kind of odd how that is, but whatever. But as for 332nd Trooper, the torso print, like prints, all the same as, and also this face print, same as from the uh, uh, 501st Trooper's Battle Pack set. But the helmet piece, of which is kind of similar, but also exclusive to this set. And as for Ahsoka Tano, as first Clone Wars version in quite a long time, but in a course. First time without the odd Clone Wars eyes, of course. Which they never got that fixed with her, well, until the 2016 Rebels version, of course. And this headpiece, same as that version. Which also kind of hard to get off, of course. And look from the back and see. There were back torso prints, and you can see Ahsoka's double side face, which, and of course, all the troopers just don't. And that is it with the mini things. And now, on to the AAT itself. And well, overall, first time having a Clone Wars version of the AAT, well, since like 2009. And of course, we did get two of the Episode 1 versions. Well, kind of interesting how that is. Like, two in blue, two in the tan color. Maybe they'll do, maybe the next one will be in Episode 1 tan, possibly. Maybe. But if you look from the ground level, they, as you see, those there are those large rounded kind of uh, brick pieces, but in the dark blue color. Well, so all of this kind of the same as the uh, 2015 Clone Episode 1 version of the AAT. Okay. But also, do you get a couple things here that you can press down and shoot the missiles, of course. And as for this, for the middle section there, which does have a couple of the card dome pieces and a dome piece on it, but missing a blue stripe on it, like the 2009 version did. And as for the sides, which do have 
the like cone pieces and a couple of few rods representing guns, obviously. And from the sides, good use of those uh, uh, cornered kind of pieces. And back part of which, not much to look at, of course. But from the bottom, are kind of rounded hovering kind of pieces. There's also like other versions. But that's for me. But also, good use of these large jagged slope pieces. It's also different than other versions. You lift that up, and then you can see a pair of different control. And just and it's just enough space to fit your one of your bow droids into it. But unfortunately, there's very few stickers in this set, and also a little backspace to put their gun into and there. And also good. Be Interesting use of those pieces, or interesting sticker actually. I mean, like with the Republic symbol, of course, or no, separatist symbol. Sorry, as for the uh, upper area, which has this long, kind of long rifle to it, a little longer than what it's supposed to be, like, you know, it should be like that far back or now this far back but at least other which you know other versions kind of got that fixing if i were lego i would just make it that sh uh, just let this just let the long piece not be there at all oh, of course and then as for the rest of course can turn up and down of course and also do get another one of the large larger dome pieces that you can Flip right open and enough space to fit another battle droid into a course. And you get the fencing sword and little lever, but used for antennas, of course. And as for a little comparison, is with the 2015 version of the AAT. So, as so, like this was around 25, and this is 40. Although I think it could have been more worth it for like just 30 or so. But I guess it's probably licensing or something. Well, the last version had jagged slopes, but upwards kind. But on the other, it's just sideways, snotted. You can see, same use of those large brick rounded pieces, of course. On this version, kind of hard to get the flip fire missiles. Or just missiles, but not on this can easily get to it. And also, although the piece is kind of a little different, which but it's all right. But also this, which does have some kind of tight spaces to put your bow droids into it, but this one a little lesser of that, of course, of which good plus. Also, these ones guns do turn, which the other one just doesn't. So at least it's a good plus. And so now on to it, the final verdict. So overall, this I think is a, a pretty good set, and although for the price and piece amount, which kind of steep, like no, I really don't get why this is, has come to forty dollars when I think it should be more worth it for thirty. But probably because of the new exclusive Ahsoka and three thirty second trooper, which also interesting thing is that. The box art cover kind of resembles season one, and the and Ahsoka and the trooper kind of are more for season seven. Kind of weird, but whatever. But also get good color scheme and good for your mocks and all. But yeah, and also and also 
and also too bad that they didn't get to put a, uh, a blues uh, stripe on the front part of it, but yeah. And also a little bit of a downgrade from the 2009 version of it, but I can forgive how it turned out, but what we got here, which did turn out good, and of course, first time of getting Ahsoka in a long time, but yeah. And if you're looking to get this set for your uh, uh, clone army and all, we'll definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to get it for your Clone Wars display and collection, also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.